Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Miss Yvonne. Hello, Miss Yvonne. Hello to everyone. Can you, okay, let's get this. We're going to start the class in a couple of minutes. So please get ready. Okay, get ready your manual. Ok, King, ¿cómo se escucha el audio? ¿Se escucha claro? ¿Se escucha alejado? ¿Se escucha bien? ¿Claro y fuerte? Hello, hello. Si me ayudan, por favor. Hello. Se escucha bien. Ah, ok, thank you very much for your feedback. Ok, let's get started. Well, um, in the previous class, Okay, uh, page 17. Okay, page 17. Okay. Page 17. Vamos a... Real, real. Okay, well, uh, let's get started. Let me see, yeah. Okay, we did the SWOT. Do you remember what SWOT is? Recuerden que significaba SWOT? SWOT. SWOT. Do you remember what SWOT is? Strange. Strange. Weakness. Good. Weaknesses. Opportunities. And threats. Threats. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for your help, Miss. Okay, vamos. Y dice. Uh, good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green lights to work on our latest product testing task. One of those, one of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. 
the efforts this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test. So we can discuss them, take a look. Good job. But I have I have you figure out the cost. Some difficult decisions to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing cost. And I'm good at that. And I'm good at that. Okay, algo cuando nos referimos a ser bueno en alguna actividad, utilizamos la preposición a. Por ejemplo, yo soy bueno en eh, yo soy bueno jugando fútbol. I'm good at soccer. Soy bueno en fútbol. Okay, I'm good at eh, watching TV. Soy bueno viendo televisión. O soy bueno escribiendo. I'm good at writing. I'm good at swimming. I'm good at cooking. Okay. Here we have again. Good morning. I'm thrilled to announce we have green light to work on our latest product testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort this task requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them to take a look. Good job, but we have you figure out the cost. Some difficult decision to make refers to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss, one of the most important factors in this job is managing cost, and I'm good at that. Vamos a pedirle a mis... Uh, Vamos a ver. Bueno, mejor voluntario. ¿Quién quiere ser el this, this part? Who wants to be? Who, who can help us? Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Concepción. And Vélez. I'm sorry, Miss, Miss Ayala. Me, teacher. Thank you. Ok, si nos ayuda un poquito con el micrófono, Miss Rosibel, que se le escucha un poquito alejada. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. Now much better. Let's start. Three, two, one. Action. Good morning. I'm ready to announce we have green light to work on our test producing testing stacks. One of the cool things I like about working with you all, with you, with you all, is the effort. You make to do the job the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this task requires are important to take into account. No sé si yo sigo. Hello. Ah. Teacher, ¿quién era Mr. Ávila? <laughs> okay. okay, definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job, but how did you figure out the cost? Excellent. Some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factors in this job is managing costs, and I'm good at that. I'm good at that. Okay, thank you very much. Good job. Muy bien, gracias. Okay, hoy sí vamos a acabar los tres. Okay, ¿quién quiere ser Mr. Bellis? Mr. Bellis. Miss Sandra, thank you. Okay, Miss Ayala. Miss Ayala, thank you. Okay, and Mr. Avila. Okay, 
community chair. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay, three, two, one, action. Good morning. I thrilled to announce we have three nights to work on our last test road testing task. One of the good things I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job with. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The effort, the efforts this tax requires are important to take into account. Definitely, I have already write to some ideas for a modex test so we can discuss them. Take a look. Good job, but I have you figure out, figure out the cost. Some difficult decisions you may refer to fancy material and cost versus quality. Yes, boss. One of the most important factor in the job is money and cost. And are you good? I'm good at that. Excellent. Okay, very good. So uh, we, we need we need to reinforce. Okay. Thrill and thrill. Thrill. Okay. Sorry? Thrill. 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 Okay. Uh, definitely. 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 Okay, figure out. Figure out. Figure out. Figure out. Figure out. Okay. Let me see. Vamos a escoger los últimos tres eh, compañeros que nos ayuden. Okay, one for Mr. Vélez. Me teacher. Thank you, Miss Cecilia. One for Mrs. Ayala. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Miss <laughs> Okay, Miss, no sé si era Miss Silvia, si no soy correcto, y Mr. Luis. Sí. Okay, Miss Silvia será Miss Isayala y Mr. Luis será Mr. Pérez. Okay. No, Mr. Okay. Avila, yes, me. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, Mr. Avila, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, three, two, one, action. Good morning, I thrilled to announce we had the night to work on our latest product test in tax. One on the good thing I like about working with you all is the effort you make to do the job well. I agree with you, Mr. Ayala. The efforts this takes are important to take into account. Definitely. I have already written some ideas for a monadic test, so we can discuss them. Take a look. Uh, good job. But have you figured uh, out the cause some difficult decision to make refer to fancy material and cause burst quality? Yes, boss. One of the most important factor in this job is managing costs, and I'm good at that. Okay, good. We need to uh, reinforce requires. Requires. Require. Require. Requiere. Requires. Or requires, okay. yes. Requires. Uh, acá Why? tiene la letra S porque es, está utilizando el pronombre it pero si no es require or requires ok aquí tenemos take into take into account okay, que esto sería como tomarlo en cuenta into account take it into account Take it into account. 
Ok, este sería have you figured out. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa esto? Figure out. Figure out. Resolver. Resolver. Es como cuando se hace un cálculo de algo, una estimación. Resolver, estimar. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Okay. Ok, let's continue. No sé si existe alguna pregunta con la pronunciación o el significado de alguna palabra. Okay, good. Well, let's continue. Okay, y vamos a ir a esta, a esta parte. Unit number two. How to achieve verbs agreement with complex subject. Okay, how to achieve verb agreement with complex subject. Okay, dice subjects that are preceded by expression of quantity are called complex subject. They take either a singular or a plural verb form depending on the number, singular or plural, of the quantifier. Okay, acá son sujetos. Complex Complex subject son aquellos eh, sujetos que vienen presididos por una palabra que se refiere a cantidad. Entonces, dependiendo de eh, la expresión, lo vamos a tomar como singular o plural. Recuerden que en el presente va, va, eh, el verbo se va a regir dependiendo si es plural o singular, ¿verdad? Si es tercera persona... Y si it, el verbo va a ser modificado. Sin embargo, si se mantiene en plural, como they, you, we, el verbo se va a mantener en su forma base. Ok. Y dice, example, the first of the decision has been made of, made to go ahead with a plan. Como pueden darse cuenta, acá está la expresión the first, la primera. Y aquí termina con S, entonces puede hacer que haya un grado de confusión, ¿verdad? The first of the decision. Entonces, puede ser que usted cometa el error o cometamos el error de eh, colocar have, pensando que el sujeto es plural. Sin embargo, aquí al utilizar la expresión the first, vamos a tomar todo el sujeto como singular, como que utilizáramos he, she, or it. The first of the decision has been made to go ahead with a plan. In this case, Mr. Is it. It, exactly. It. Okay. Si tuviéramos que sustituirlo por un sujeto, sí, tendría que ser it. Pero acá la, lo que rige es la expresión first. Okay, here the first refers to one of the decision, decision so the verb must be in singular form, has. Si lo tomáramos como plural, el verbo sería have, ¿verdad? Have. Ok, repito. Si dentro de la expresión o de, dentro de la oración lleva first, que okay, esta palabrita, the first, se va a tomar todo el sujeto como singular. Es decir, it. Ok. Porque 
como decía, puede haber un grado de confusión al ver la palabra decisions, ¿verdad? Pero acá lo que rige es esta, esta frase, the first. Es por eso que aquí tenemos has, has been, present perfect. Another, here the first refers to one of the decision, so the verb must be in the singular form. El primero se refiere a uno de las decisiones, so entonces el verbo debe ser tomado como singular. One of the good things I like about working with you all is okay, the effort you make to do the job right. Acá pueden ver. Is. One of. Aquí viene otra expresión. One of is sing, single of various good things. So the verb must also be in singular. Okay. Recapitulamos. Si la expresión comienza con the first, ¿cómo era el verbo? En singular. Singular. Si la expresión comienza sí. con one. Singular. I'm sorry. Singular también. Ahora vamos a ver otras, eh, otros tipos de expresiones referente a cantidad. Por ejemplo, some difficult decision to make in relation to Fancy material are, que okay, ahí sí va, lo vamos a tomar como plural, some, algunas. Some difficult decisions to make in relation to fancy peep materials are. Okay, here some refers to more than one difficult decision. Aquí some se refiere a más de alguna de difícil decisión. Por eso se va a tomar como plural. Y aquí tenemos otra expresión que se va a tomar como plural. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind test. A majority and a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Ok, recapitulamos. Si la expresión comienza con the first, ¿cómo irá el verbo? Singular. 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 If the expression begins with the first, the verb will be? Plural. Singular. Singular. If the, ver if the sentence begins with some? Plural. 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 A majority? Plural. Plural. A number? Plural. Excellent. Plural. Okay. We're going, to we're going to develop the exercises from page number five, page uh, 18, page 18. Ready, page 18. Here, okay, this one. Okay, you have to choose between is or are, has or has, is or are, etc. Suggest or suggest. Okay, you will have five minutes, five minutes.
Okay, two minutes. Are you done? Hello? Yes, Mr. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Number one. Uh, it says some of the participants. I think no me escuchan bien. Me escuchan bien ahora? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Some of the yes, participants Mr. in the testing group. How? Have not. Have have not or haven't arrived yet. Haven't Number not. two, one of the factors to decide on the best type of test is, is or are? Is. 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 A is. number of customers in is or are satisfied with the performance of the new mop? Are. Are. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Are. Are. Very are. good. Exactly. Are. Because it begins with a number. Okay. The first of the suggestions I want to implement is a majority of testers have or has. Have. A number of comments suggest or suggest. Suggest. Yes. This or this? The first. The first. A number of comments. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. The number three. Mm -hmm. And the. En la plataforma, si pone R, se la pone mala, pero si pone I, se la pone buena. Ajá. Veamos. No, pero no, no puede ser eso. Creo que sí. Bueno, pero vamos a reportar. Okay, pues. sí, pero, pero si la pone R, la pone mala. Y si pone I, la pone buena. Qué raro. Porque se puede ver aquí la regla también, aquí lo dicen. Ah, ok, sí, estoy sí, comprando. Bueno, le de reportar esto entonces. ¿Se recuerda el número de ejercicio? Sí, es, eh, es el ejercicio número 2.2. 2.2, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Ok. Exercise Unit 2.2. Pero una pregunta, ¿y con el ejercicio 1.5? Es que poner toda la oración o solo la, el, el adverbio de, clau, de las clau, clauses, no es como que decía ahí. Mm, tendría que ver el ejercicio para la respuesta. No, no sé cuál es el 1.5. Sí, es el de la unidad 1. De Product de Levelmet. De las que estuvimos viendo las clases de los adverbios, de, clau, de las clauses. Uh -huh. De clases. ¿Cuándo de clases. reducir clases? ¿Ah? Es que yo tengo problemas con la tarea 1.5 que es respe con respecto a eso. Ok, creo que nos puede enviar, bueno, después, al final de la clase, creo que nos puede enviar cuál es el problema o qué es lo que, lo que le resulta. Va, está bien. Ahí se lo mando al final de clase. Al grupo se lo voy a mandar. Ok. Por WhatsApp. Vaya, gracias. Ok, let's continue. Okay, and now we have the 
here we have this vocabulary part. Vocabulary part. Okay, but before, let me see. Ahí está. Un segundo, quiero compartir con ustedes una presentación. Okay, well, this unit, it has to do with testing products. Okay, testing product. Tiene que ver con cómo evaluar productos. Okay, product, product testing research stages. Las eh, etapas. For example, before consumption, preparation or consumption, after consumption. For example, seeing the initial reaction of customer on your product, packaging, in your product. Okay, ver la, cómo reacciona el cliente. Second one, cause consumer start consuming or using your product. And you see the way your product is prepared and consumed and consumer reaction. Okay, usted prepara el producto, se lo da al customer y ve la reacción de ellos. And after the consumption, in this stage, consumers evaluate your product overall and you see the overall evaluation and behavior impact of this product. Okay, ¿Cómo se comporta el, el producto? So, esta unidad se refiere más a cómo evaluar los productos. Okay? How to test product. Okay, for example, oh, eh, we're going to have we're going to have the exercise the exercise um, page number 19. Page number 19. This one. Okay, site and handling test, use test, branded test, blind test, monadic method, sequential monadic method, Payer comparison test. Okay. Okay, here we go.
Number four, blind test. Blind test. I don't know. It's a product that tests on, on branded. So the cons consumer focuses strictly on the product characteristics and not on the brand name. Maybe, I think. Uh-huh. Product are test on her. A test is on Brandon. Brandon. Yes, to stick in the product characteristics and not on the brand name. Mm -hmm. And the number four. Four. Number five. Number five is consumer use the product in real circumstances. They use a product, cite it, handle it, and rate it later. Mm -hmm. Sequential monadic uh, method. Manuel, do you have it somewhere? Okay. Hey, eh, Sandra, yo tengo dudas con la con la con el blind test. ¿Cuál es el que decía usted? Perdón. El blind test. Blind test, Mister. Blind. Blind. Ah, blind ah. test. Eh, es. Eh. Eh, Product blind es, es similar como blind date, es decir, el mismo verbo, blind date. Blind es ciego. Ah, ok, entonces blind date es cita ciega. Blind date. <risa> ok, sí. Oh, vaya. Es que ya lo asocié con eso para que no se me olvide. Perdón, Sandrita. No se preocupe. <risa> es... Um, um, Products are tested on branding, so the, consum the consumer pro focus is strictly okay, on sí. the product characteristics and not on the brand name. Sí, estoy de acuerdo. Okay. Uh -huh. Number six is consumer use a product, sign it and handle it. They rate, rate it. Mm -hmm. Then they use site handle another product and rate it the consumer a hey, study. Mm -hmm. Vaya, entonces pongámosle el número ya. Ya volví. Okay. Excelente, okay. Manuelito. Cabal, Me un mundo entrar, también. pero volví. <ríe> Vaya, pongámosle el numerito, pues, Manuel. Ay. El Manuel se salvó el miércoles de hacerse famoso, mano. ¿Y eso? Yo sudé. Wow. Ah, pues sí, de, de nuestro minuto de fama. Ah, ¿Qué es. Patate, <risa> Manuel. Lamentablemente no pude. Sí, el, ni modo el trabajo. But in, in the first... first is number seven. Number seven. Eh, que no sé. Lo están viendo ¿Ya? la presentación. Sí. Yes. Vimos no un sé. chat primero y después. Pero no sé cómo. Cómo escribir. Ah, yo, porque... yo puedo poner, pero me sale bien feo. Ahí está, ahora sí ya, ya lo encontré. Ah, va, dale. Ok. ¿Qué sería? Seven. Seven. Qué raro me quedó. Ah, pero podemos hacer más grande la. Ay, perdón, 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 perdón. 
Ey, no. está loco este volado. No, yo toqué el, el, la pantalla y te manché de rojo. No, pero estaba un... Era un cuadrito bien bonito, hombre. Donde podía digitar. Ah. Y hoy todo, todo feo. A ti no me gusta. Y el 7. Sí, no me sabe. Yes. Después. Five. Number 5. Number two. Three. Two. Two. Then is number six. Number one. Four. Four. Me quedó en línea, mira recta. Sí. Una regla lo puse ahí para, para ver. Good job. <laughs> Number seven is very difficult. Really? Ahí estamos ya, completo. Sí. Después. Y en el anterior se movía la página, pero no se movían los números. Uy. <risa> Pero no sé cuál era la opción que tenía aquí.
Solo seis vamos a hacer. Eh, sí. Sí. Los consumidores utilizan un producto, lo ven y lo manipulan, lo califican, luego usan, ven, manipulan otro producto y lo califican. El consumidor no valora ambos productos entre sí. Ajá. Bueno, y entonces acá sería las cinco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Finish, finish. Vale, pero me quedo por estar viendo aquí. Ahí está el teacher que nos evalúe. <risa> que nos ponga diez. <risa> Ay, <escuché. risa> no, Hello. Hello, ¿Cómo vamos por acá? In this dish. In this. Veamos, hay... Si está bien o mal, no lo sabemos. Um, Creemos que sí, pero quién cuatro sabe. Cuatro malas. <ríe> ¡Qué poquita! ¿Cuáles están buenas? ¿Cuáles están buenas? Seven... Sí, no, pues solo una está buena. Ah, ah, number six. La six está buena. Seven and six. Oh, Siete y sí. seis. Qué barbaridad. Solo esas están buenas. <risa> Vaya a cambiar todo. Espérate, bueno, bueno. a ver qué hice. Ya nos dimos cuenta. <ríe> es que quería vaya los numerales que están adentro del paréntesis son los buenos uh -huh. el siete y el seis de ahí todos están mal hay que cambiarlo <ríe> bueno a ver Vaya. Las seis y las siete dijo, ¿verdad? Que estaban buenas. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Vamos a eliminar las otras entonces. Si pone la uno en la. En donde está la cuatro. Porque dice, esta es una buena opción cuando hay elementos táctiles y visuales. Y dice que es prueba de vista y manera. Ajá. Ok, la una en la cuatro. No, 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 donde estaba el cuatro, sí. perdón. En este caso sería la seis. No, donde está el seis. Ahí, ahí. ¿Y quién está hablando ahorita? Yo siento que la dos es la prueba de marca, fíjense. Veamos, quiero ver. La dos, prueba de marca. El consumidor utiliza el producto en circunstancias reales, utiliza un producto. Lo Sería la tres, entonces. Ven, lo y hola, hola, o la siete es la dos. No, es que la siete dijo que estaba buena. No, es que la siete está buena. Ponga esa, esta yo creo que está bien, esta que dice Rosy. ¿Cuál? Eh, la dos. Ah.
Hello, finish. Hello, Hello. Yes. Good. Yes. Te va a costar, pero no chamo. Good night. Ya ves, ya se están despidiendo. Uh -huh. Usted ya se va a acostar también. Tengo dos niños, uno de, un, el, el niño de tres y la niña de nueve. Sí, y hasta ahora ya se andan desvelando. Sí. Ah, los míos ya, ya volaron. De verdad. Yo, sí. empecé, yo empecé tarde. Este. <ríe> Ahorita los estoy disfrutando. Ay, sí. Están en la mejor etapa. Sí. Ven, mami, dame, papi, dame. Ah, oh, sí. O sea, ya me hicieron abuela, ¿sí? Eh, qué chido. Sí. Bueno, uno. El otro dice que no quiere. No quiere todavía. No, uy. Ya va. <risa> Se va para los 30 y no quiere. Dice que no. Todavía no. Todavía no. No ha encontrado la ideal. Ah, Puede sí, encontrarla, está, encontró, está pero no quiere. Ajá. Ah. Está Mira, los dos. Ahí estamos los cuatro. Ah. Yo soy el viejito del centro. <risa> Sí, hacen falta los hijos. Definitivamente. Pero yo tengo un hermano que tiene 44 años y él no piensa tener hijos. Okay, well, now that you're ready to finish the vocabulary part, the vocabulary part, we're going to read, okay, the descriptions. I'm going to say the num. I'm going to say the, the word, and you have to tell me the description. For example, um, let me see. The peer comparison test. Peer comparison test. What it is? Consumer use or site and hamlet one pro, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Excellent. Consumer use or site and handle one product, then another and are asked to indicate which of the two they prefer. Okay. Ellos pueden manipular el producto, pueden ver el producto y escoger entre dos productos. Okay. Next. Eh, let me see what it is, sequential monadic method. Sequential monadic method. What it is? Consumer use a products signed and handled. They rate, rate them, they use, sign, handle another product and write. The customer does not rate both product against each other. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. And then we have a site. Uh, let me see. Monadic method. Monadic method.
Consumer use. Okay, Karen, go ahead. No. Okay, thank you. Customer use the product in real circumstance. They use a product signed, handled, and rated later. Later, very good, excellent. Then we have brand test. Brand test. Brand test. Does anybody have that? It's number three. Okay, it is. Consumer are aware of the brand they are trying. This test better reflects the real world experience and the value value of the value. brand. Value of the brand. Of the brand. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let me see what what else. We have um pair comparison test is already yeah right yes we have a use test use test uh, consumer take the product to be used either as a sample or for an extended period that uh, they will usually use and usually no as they will usually use it in their own home okay good okay well i'm gonna show you the order okay the answer and then you compare if you got them all correct here we have. Is it like is it like that? Yes. Good. Okay, pair comparison test, monadic method, use test, brand test, sequential monadic method, site and handling, and blind test. Okay, after this activity, okay, we're gonna have, okay, um, a speaking activity. Vamos a dar una actividad. Okay, and I'm gonna share with you a document. Okay, and it says, let me introduce it is called, let me introduce myself. Okay. Here. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right. Well, this is the info that you have to fill in. Esa es la información que van a completar. Pero esta vez vamos a hacer una información ficticia. Okay, ficticia. Donde vive, cuántos años tiene, su cumpleaños, qué profesión, ok, cuál es su materia preferida, etcétera, etcétera. Ok, in, I study English because, ok, try to give complete answer. The purpose of this activity is that you use basic vocabulary, ok, you uh, speak, ok, what is the most important over here? So, you have to fill in the blanks, or you have to fill in complete the information, but with fake info, info. And then you have to share with us. Okay. Um, here we have more 
info like hobbies, free time, reading, painting, drawing, playing, okay, traveling, movies, action movie, comedy, romantic movie. I like it. Uh, here you have more expression. Jobs, doctor, architect. Okay. Vamos a completar toda la información, pero no necesariamente que sea verídica toda. Puede, puede crearla. Okay. So, do you have the screen? ¿Ya tomaron la captura? ¿O la fotografía? No. Okay, here we go. Vamos a darle 10 minutes. 10 minutes yeah. to complete the info. And then you have to talk. Okay, we need to talk. You need to practice the speaking part. Here we go. I said, uh -huh. <laughs> Hola, buenas noches. Hello, oh. Clarissa. Good night. Amira. Yes. Buenas noches. Good evening, Clarissa. Good evening. Si me salgo de bueno, si yo quiero hacer otra cosa en la computadora y me sí, salgo de la ahorita ya estoy en, eh. otra, en otra cosa. Ah, pues no, no, no. La proyección? no. Ah, okay. Thank you. 
Buenas noches. Hola, Clarita. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Eh, eh, se nos hace con esta hoja. Vamos a empezar a trabajar con lo que ya. dijo que teníamos que eh, un producto, elegir un producto. No. No, Clarita. Es about the, the screen. Voy a complementar esa hojita. Yes. Hello. Sí, Clarita. Espérame, lo voy a dejar con... segundo. Ajá. Ay, me quedo lejos. en año octubre no junio o julio uno fácil de pronunciar sí, julio julio <risa> julio concepción sí okay a ver aquí vamos a Julie. <ríe> no se escribe así, va. No, L Y. Ay. July, ¿qué? Bueno. Este H va. No lo vamos a alcanzar a hacer, quizá va. 
Oh, solo seis minutos teníamos. Veámonos. Del 2023. <risa> Acaba de nacer. <risa> tres minutos, chicas. Hace, tre hace 30 años atrás. Estamos 23, en salida 93, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vaya, ya está. Vaya, mi estudien a estudia historia. 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 Okay. Uh, my favorite subject is. What is the subject? Como la, la materia, creo. Ahí, entonces, ¿qué le ponemos? Ciencias. Si está estudiando okay. historia o social. Yeah, right. Sociales. ¿Cómo se escribe sociales? Sociales. Social studies. Social studies. Así, teacher. Studies. Studies. Así. Yes. Ok. Deporte favorito. My favorite sport is. Pongámosle su no. Básquetbol. ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Cómo se escribe? Básquetbol. Así como se pronuncia. Básquetbol. Así, ¿verdad? Básquetbol, ajá. Yes. Bueno. Um, quiero ver. There are people in my family. ¿Cuántas personas son mi familia? ¿Quiere decir, va? Uh -huh. Ok, y pongo... Unas cinco o seis. Solo el número. Muchas. There are six people in my family. Así le pongamos de six, así en inglés. Va. Eh, they are. Ellos son. Uh -huh. Ay, no. ¿Qué le vamos a, a escribir ahí? Quizás el parentesco, quizás se refiere, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? My father is. My father is. Father, my mother. My mother, my, my sister, my brother. Pero es que aquí está, mire. El nombre. Ah. My father is. Ah. Sí. My, my mother. Ah, Ahí van los nombres. Ah, entonces el nombre va. Vamos a ponerle un nombre. Ay, no, mejor este. Va. <risa> <risa> y aquí vamos a ver. My mother. Ella no se pone. Va. <risa> <risa> Pero el otro donde dice ellos son my father, no, my parents. My parents. My parents. Pero vamos a ver si me cabe acá un porque... poquito. Ok, y lo vamos a poner por aquí arribita porque no me cupo y ya vamos a terminar. Va. Mm, quiero ver, I would like to be. Um, ¿Qué vamos a poner ahí? Algo... En mi tiempo libre también me gusta. Puedes uh, ahí. Listen to music. Aquí. Uh -huh. Listen to music. Es listen, solo listen. Solo listen. 
Sí. Uh -huh. Y lo que no gusta. ¿Por qué? Pero ahí está un por qué. I would like to be a listen to music because no sé. Ah, no, no pero hay... es, me gustaría ser un, no es que se va listen to music es en my hobby, ¿verdad? Ajá, en mi tiempo libre, me gusta, también me gusta. In my free time, I also like. Mm, listen to music, music, okay. Mm -hmm. Va. Listen to music. Y en la otra, I would like to be. Me gustaría ser un. ¿Un qué? ¿Qué pasó? Rosibel y Carlos ya no contestaron. Ayúdennos, please. Las estamos escuchando. <risa> Quieran que hasta los ojos me lloran del sueño mucho. Ahí vamos. Me gustaría ser que uno de los que uh, en la en la en my free time. Ah, oh, todo el lado. Computer quedando. science, ahí hay opciones arriba: computer science, geography, social study, music, chem chemistry. Computer. Uh, computer science también. Playing computer, uh -huh. eso, computer science. En la uh -huh. I would like. I would like yeah. to be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, computer science. ¿Dónde está? Ah, ya lo vi. Bye, ajá. Uh -huh. because, because, because I like. No, verdad. Because. Bien, podría ser así. Because. Porque me gusta. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just because. <laughs> Just because. No, teacher. Entonces, because I like. Because I like technology. I like technology. Technology. Así, ¿verdad? No. Technology. Solo le falta en la C, luego de, luego de la C, la H. Okay. ¿Ahí? Ajá. Ok, mi causa. Ay, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. No, antes cabe, pero bueno, va. In my free time, I always like. En mi tiempo libre. También me gusta. <ríe> Ay, sí. oh. Puede ser. Watch tu series. Playing, playing with friends. Going to the cinema. Watch TV. Oh, play it. Oh, you know. Exercise. Oh. Go to the gym. Or going to the park. También. Esa está más fácil porque ahí está para escribir. <laughs> Go, going. Coco y tú. De parte. I don't like, lo que no le gusta. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, o podríamos ser go, go, es going, no, es going, como going to the bus. <laughs> no. <laughs> ¿Qué le ponemos? 
gente no le gusta? Tra travel sería lo que quiere decir. Travel. Viajar en bus. Ajá. Travel. Travel to the bus. Travel to the bus. Ajá. Uh -huh. O travel by bus. Viajar en bus. Viaja. ¿Cuál era? Travel by bus. ¿Cómo se escribe? P y. ¿Ah, sí? Ajá. Mm. Okay. Mm. Good. I like to mm. My favorite food My is. Favorite food. I don't like to travel. Ah, mm. I don't like to travel. Ya falta el. Vamos a ponerle un tú ahí chiquito porque ya no lo podemos por. By my favorite food is su comida favorita, teacher. Um, Mexican food. Ay, cómo se escribe. Mexican. Ya lo vamos Mexican. a estudiar. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pero así, ¿verdad? Mexican, ajá, Mexican. Uh -huh. yeah. F-O-O-D. Uh -huh. My favorite thing is. Um, vida favorita. Soda, licuados. Yo solo agüita, Tom. Aguadre. Agüita. Smoothie. Water only. Only water. Bye. Bye. My favorite day of the week is. Uh -huh. This is my favorite day of the week is. Sunday. 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 For, for me. Sunday, entonces. Saturday. 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 <laughs> because. Because I work only in the morning. Ay, ¿cómo se escribe con sexy? <risa> Una palabrita le entendí. Because Only I in the morning. Uh, because, me dijo. I work. Uh, ah, pero ya no lo voy a poner porque. I work. I work. Una otra ahí. Ay. Así, ¿verdad? Only in the morning. I work only. I work only in the morning. I work only in the morning. Se lo mandé. Ya lo escribí. <laughs> Pero entonces, vamos. Vamos a ponerlo como se lo mandó. Es así. My favorite month December. December. Vaya, se la vamos a mandar para que la vaya tocando. Porque solo trabaja en la mañana, dice. Ajá. December. Ve, Carlos, ahí está. Apareció. Yes, aquí está. Para que estoy escuchando a todos los que hablan. My favorite month. <laughs> Mi mes favorito es December, because. Me imagino que Rosibel, porque cumple años en ese mes. <risa> no, en enero cumplo años. Ay, en porque entonces, por, ¿por qué en diciembre? Porque me dan mi ahorro navideño. <risa> 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 Eso es. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Recibe ahorro navideño, dice. I have money. Porque tiene dinero, le vamos a poner. 
Ay, no. ¿Cómo se escribe, Rosy? Ves? I have money. Ah, no, y... porque tengo dinero extra. Ah, sí, entonces. I have extra money. Extra money. Extra money va primero, extra. I have extra money. Así va. Ajá. Ya ve que puede. Ajá. Vaya. Uh, my favorite singer or band is. ¿Qué, ¿Qué dice? Mi favorita, mi música, no, mi canción favorita. Cantante, creo que es. Es mala, ¿eh? Mi canción favorita. Cantante o la... banda. De banda. Ah, yes. Es el cantante o banda. La canción favorita de, ba Ajá, de banda es. ¿Cuál es? Va y díganos la suya, usted solo ha estado contestando. <risa> Porque no es ese mi, mi cantante favorito o oh, banda. Pues mi canción favorita dice My Favorite Singer. Ah, pues quiero ver cómo se llama este. Es que son bastante. Bad Bunny. No, no es una banda. Okay. Well, uh, now that you work. Okay, I don't know if we have volunteers to come to share with us or to introduce your cell. Is there any volunteer, algún voluntario, who wants to start? Me, teacher. Miss Karen, go ahead, please. Okay, uh, I live in San Salvador. I'm 34 years old. My birthday is on June 13th. I'm started at UCA. My favorite subject is math. My favorite sport is soccer. There are five people in my family. They are my husband, my mom, my dad, my little sister, and me. My father is a businessman and my mother a housewife. I would like to be a chef because I love to cook. My hobby is cooking a delicious dishes. In my free time, I also like walking in the park and playing with myself. I don't like to work out. My favorite food is grilled meat. My favorite drink is horchata. My favorite day of the week is Sunday because I go to the church. My favorite month is December because is my father and my little sister uh, birthday and the Christmas too. My favorite band is Backstreet Boy. Mm -hmm. I like sci-fi movies like uh, Harry Potter and the comedies too. My favorite place is the mountain because I love the nature and especially the, the trees and see the cold, the clothes. I like traveling. I have to be in Germany, in a special con, Leverkusen, Dusseldorf, and Paris and Amsterdam. The most beautiful place in my country is a Huachapan, in a special ataco in my father's town. And I study English because I want to improve my, my English. Excellent, very complete. Very concise, excellent pronunciation and fluency. And also you gave us a lot of details. Very good. Okay, I don't know if we got another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me teacher. Mr. Castaneda. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Robert Oppenheimer. Ah, cool. I, live in, I live in New York City. I'm 119 years old. My birthday is on April 20, uh, 
104. Uh, my favorite subject is physical. My favorite sport is tennis. Um, they are two people in my family. They are my father and my mother. Uh, my father is a businessman and my mother is a housewife. Um, I would like to be a, a hero because I love the human space. My hobby is um, doing uh, crossword puzzles. And uh, in my free time, I also like listening to music. Uh, I don't like the vegetables. Uh, my favorite my favorite food is the Mexican food. Uh, my favorite drink is the whiskey. Uh, oh, and tequila too. My favorite day of the week is the Monday. Uh, because uh, start a new week. Um, my favorite singer is Frank Sinatra. I like uh, the picture, the movies, uh, The Good Father. Uh, my favorite play is. Um, the main square in Madrid. Uh, I like it. I like it because uh, for its culture and gastronomy. And I like traveling. I have been to Germany and Moscow. Moscow. Uh, Moscow. 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 Okay. Thank you, Mister. The most beautiful place in my country is uh, Central Park. E I study English because I need to improve. You need to improve your English level or your life or what do you have to improve? Or what do you want to improve? Uh, uh, I need a... Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Okay, ¿qué, ¿Qué desea mejorar? ¿Su nivel de inglés? ¿Su vida? ¿Opportunities? ¿Job opportunities? No. Uh, only um, the experience. Experience. Yes, mister. Ok, very good. Thank my, you. My, my life is perfect. Your life is perfect, yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. I like it. Okay, anybody, any other volunteer? Sandra, teacher. Sandra, thank you, Miss. I live in Cuscatancingo. I am 29 years old. My birthday is on November 6th. I am at Uca. My favorite subject is, is poetry. My favorite sport is basketball. There are uh, four people in my family. There are my husband, my two boys. And my father is a showmaker. My mother is a housewife. I would like to be a librarian because it's, I it's an interesting level for the life. And my favorite, my hobby is read books and I stay at home. In my free time, I also like to, to watch TV or read books. I don't like to eat fish. My favorite food is beans, cream, cheese, eggs, and Aguacero. My favorite drink is tea, coffee, and wine. 
Uh, my favorite day of the week is Saturday because I I like to sleep late. And uh, my favorite month, well, I have two favorite months, November because it's my birthday and December for Christmas. My favorite singer uh, band is Whitney Houston, Adele, Scorpions, and Gonzalo Rose. I like movies, The Bollywood, E.T. and The Blind Side. My favorite place is the beach. And I don't like, I don't like traveling. I have been to work. The most beautiful place in my country is Ilopango Lake when it is the tur Turkish, ah, how do you pronounce? Turquesa? Okay. I study English because I learn other languages and I it, because it's a better opportunity in my life and my job. Excellent job. Excellent job. Okay, you gave us a lot of details. Very good. So the purpose of this is that you improve your English. So thank you very much for sharing with us. Okay, a little bit about yourself. Okay, I don't know if we have more volunteers. Another volunteer? Me gusta yo, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, I am 66 years old. Okay. My birthday is on 5 April. Uh, I am a student and um, Administración de empresas. My favorite subject is the Power Ranger. Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. There are 70 people in my family. There are five women and two men. Uh, my father is a mechanic and my mother is a housewife. Would like to be a nurse because I um, like helping two people. My hobby is listening to music. My free time, I also like on good shorts um, uh, and don't like and read it and write letter. My fa favorite food is is my favorite is po pollo and pizza. My favorite food is pollo and pizza. Uh, my favorite drink is orange. Okay, I'm sorry, you said pollo or chicken, I'm sorry. Uh, chicken, chicken, oh, okay. <laughs> perdón, I'm sorry. My favorite is, my favorite food is chicken and pizza ever. And my favorite drink is with orange. Y soda. My favorite day on the week in the Monday because free day. My favorite singer um is is bas in singer Buster Boy. I like the rat and furious como movies. Shall I like movies and some rap raps rats and furious. Y my favorite place in the beach to Puerto de Libertad and like the pickles in cines and coconuts and the night traveling in I have been to the most beautiful place in the country in Aldea de Sonsonate and I study English because it's very important for all. Okay, very good, because it's very important for uh, to us, okay? To us. Okay, I don't know if we have another volunteer. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, I live in San Salvador, 
I am I am forty one years old. My birthday is forty. Forty. I'm sorry. Forty one. Forty one. Uh, forty one years old. Uh, um, I am studying in UCA. Uh, my favorite subject is math. Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. Um, they they are uh, five people in my family. Mm -hmm. They are. Uh, they they are in my mom. Uh, in I have three. Three, three, three brothers, brothers. Eh, Amy. <laughs> eh, my father is Medardo. Okay. My mother is Anna. Good. Eh, I would like to be a chef. A chef. Chef. Okay. Because because I like to cook. You like to cook. What is your favorite dish? Uh, perdón? What is your favorite dish? Platillo. For for cook? Yeah, to cook. At um Mm, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. What do you think? Yes. Uh, I like, uh, como digo, me gusta todo. O sea, you like gusta, everything. Yes, I, I like everything. Me gusta Good. mucho cocinar. O sea, no importa que sea. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Bueno, pero tal vez mi especialidad es los panes con pollo. All right. So, para la graduación, ya saben que vamos a contratar. <laughs> Con mucho gusto. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, quiero ver dónde me quedé. Ah, ¿Dónde voy, teacher? Oh, creo que es... Um, my hobby is what's research series. Um, in my my free time, I also like so plants. Um, I don't like romantic movies. <laughs> um, you don't like, or you like? No. Uh, no like. I don't like romantic movies. Um, my favorite food is sheer. No sé si así se pronuncia, teacher. Sheer. Camarones. Okay, shrimp. Shrimp, okay. My favorite drink is coffee in the coconut. And my favorite day is Sunday because I go to church and church, 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 and spend time with with family. And my favorite month is December because for the bonus and the gift and my favorite band is Maho y Dan and my I, I like the the Lord of the Rings movie the Lord of the Rings okay yes and my favorite place is the beach it's correct 
es correct. <ríe> no quiero decir la otra palabra. Yeah, it's correct. Uh, The beach. Okay, beach. Because I can eat my favorite food. And, uh, and rest. Uh, I don't like traveling. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I like, uh, I have been to Guatemala and the most beautiful uh, place in the country is El Puerto. And I study English because to facilitate my work and relations with visitors. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for your participations. Well, uh, I need to take the attendance list of today. So I'm going to begin with Mr. Alfredo Reyes. Present teacher. Hernandez Sotelo. Present teacher. Miss Clarixa Maribel Ramos. Present teacher, present. No sé si me oye. Yes, yes, thank you. Cl uh, oh, Miss okay, Yvonne Calderón de López. Present teacher. Miss Concepción Marina Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo López González. Present teacher. Rugamas Melara. Present. Herbert Humberto Funes Mineros. Isaías Santana González. Iván. Del Cito Bar Ayala. Present. Herrera Lucha. Alvarado Mejía. Present. Mejía Hueso. Present teacher. León Rivera. Present teacher. Castaneda Velasco. Present. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Asencio Arevalo. Present Molina teacher. de García. Present. Lopez de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay, that's it. Okay, thank you very much for your participation. Okay, see you tomorrow. And do not forget to do the homework, okay, at the platform. All right? So that's it all for today. Have a good one. God bless you. And sweet dreams. Thank you. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Bro. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See ya. Bye-bye. See you.